Alright, Percy, we have a few questions for you for our upcoming website about your railway. It's a pleasure to be here. Now, uh, what are these questions you want to ask then? Uh, alright, first off we would like to ask you about your past. Um, was there anything interesting that happened while you were at Vickerstown's engine shops? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, I don't think there was really anything. Are you sure? Surely there must have been something. Even just something a little interesting, perhaps? Huh? <sighs> Alright, well, there's this one thing that's been bothering me for several years. It was quite a interesting tale, I suppose. I see. Uh, may you please tell it to us, or would you prefer not to? No, 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 it's alright. I'll tell you. The world should know, after all. The engine shops at Vickerstown were busier than ever. More and more engines were being sold to the company, so the manager had to start numbering the engines. The engines would sometimes be called out to help with the train whose engine had broke down. One day, Percy had to go help an engine who had broken down. Oh, hello, Arthur. Long time no see. So much for a spotless record, eh? No, oh, shut up. I couldn't have controlled it. It was those stupid trucks pushing me. That's what they all say, Arthur. Now, I suppose I should show you a way to deciding. <laughs> Soon enough, Percy was on his way with his train. Soon enough, it was well into the night. Percy was still pulling his train. They were approaching a small bridge when they heard a ghostly sound of whistle. Uh, hello? Is anyone there? No one replied. Then, suddenly, from the mist, faded in an engine, charging towards Percy. Ah, what the? Then, the engine suddenly disappeared into the fog. Did you see that? <coughs> oh, come on, Percy, we're getting out of here. I think something's wrong. Come on, let's go. Before anything else happens. Oh, don't worry, I'm going. I believe that was Calliope. She was a mixed traffic engine. Stationed around Doncaster, I'm pretty sure. She was cocky and bad-tempered. A bad mix, one might say. She mainly pulled excursions from one place to another. The other engines always told her, oh, You'll get in an accident one day, they would say to her. But she would never pay any attention. Perhaps it would have been better if she had. She always thought she knew best, and that everyone else was wrong. It's a silly behavior it was. Then, one night, she had an accident at long last. She was pulling a passenger train, and some workmen left their tools on a bridge. She hit them, 
and went over the side, taking it down. Taking the whole train of terrors. Terrible, I tell you. Terrible. <sighs> what a shame. It seems like it served him right, though. No one deserves death, Cressy. Ugh, <sighs> no. All those poor passengers. Uh, it gives me shivers to think of it. Indeed. Well, thank you for the story, Percy. I'm afraid we must be going and have a coffee morning with the fact drawer. Thank you. It was nice meeting you. Bye-bye. Cheerio. <sighs> Whatever next. What is this world coming to?